You don't like your job, it's obvious. You clicked on the video and hope to get some sort of closure. You're asking yourself, should I leave my job? You're miserable, you're stressed, you feel static, you're not moving anywhere. Should you leave your job? You know what, you actually know the answer. You spend 15 years at school, 40 years of work, then 10 or 15 years of retirement and then you die. This is life. So you're going to tell me that you're going to spend 40 years somewhere that doesn't make you happy? Think about it. There are ways to become happy but why are we wired this way? Why are we like this? Why do we sit down every day at work and try to deny the fact that there is more? We know that something is not good for us, but we still do it. The hard truth answer is that, we have that fear. There's a fear to leave. It's a fear because if you leave you won't be able to pay your bills, you won't be able to take care of your kids. You have bank loans, credit cards and mortgage to pay. This fear blocks you from moving forward. Do you know why? Well, it's because you have the wrong type of mindset. What you should be focusing on when you get a job, is to acquire assets. Look, I get it, jobs are important. Jobs help us to acquire new skills, stretch our minds, challenges us to be better versions of ourselves. You get to meet people and understand how the business works. However, what you're missing is that the overall aim, if anybody has their job, the only thing you should be concerned about is your balance sheet. What does your personal balance sheet look like? What are your assets? What are your liabilities at the end of the day? You'll want to ensure that your assets are more than your liabilities. Your assets are the ones that should be paying your bills, not your salary. The assets should be accumulated so that they can cover your monthly living expenses. So, my answer to you is, if your job is blocking you from obtaining financial freedom, then, simply leave. We ask ourselves the simple question, should I leave my job? But sit back and ask yourselves, what is the deeper underlying meaning? A job puts you in that endless cycle but you have a greater purpose than just slaving away putting money in corporations' pockets. You're not happy because you're not doing something that you want to do. But there's more to it, your life has more meaning. You can decide to do the things that you love, but you have to be able to earn an income. You have to find a balance. What is it that you can find that you love that makes money and something that gives back to the world? Now, you need to work towards obtaining an asset. You have a job currently, you're earning a salary, you then need to invest some of your salary. Listen, don't cry and whine about you having too many expenses and you can't invest. You're allowing the fear to take over once again. Focus on reducing those expenses. Reduce your utilities, debt, rent, groceries or travel expenses. There are countless things you can do to improve your financial position. I post different videos on my channel to help you gain financial independence. I am here to help you because I was in the same position but I found my way out. So, I have a duty to share that knowledge with you. Strangely enough, my whole mindset changed when I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. I was surprised how clear things got. Do you have a plan? If you decide to stay or leave, do you have an ultimate plan? If you don't, then you'll forever be asking yourself, should I leave my job? So, ask yourself, can I work this job enough so that I can save enough, invest enough, to put in some extra funds so that my asset can grow and generate enough income to sustain my living expenses? This should be your goal. If you have issues in fulfilling the goal, find ways to achieve the goal. Earn more income, find a new job, work some money online, freelance, start a part-time job so you can increase your income. If you can't increase the income, then cut your expenses, reduce your light bills and get out of your loans and credit card debt. If you have to extend that loan and refinance it so you can save some extra cash and invest it, then do it. You are a business. You need to grow, acquire assets and let those assets work for you. Do you have a car? Let that car work for you. Get somebody to rent your vehicle. Make some extra income on the side. Make your assets work for you and put money in your pocket. Your car require maintenance, gas, toll, insurance and that's exactly why you need to put that son of a bitch to work. Uber and Lyft is a great place to start. You can think about doing side gigs online. There's Fiverr, there's Upwork. I'm pretty sure you have some skill. Find out what you're good at and stop wasting time trying to find the answer when you are the answer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in learning how to make money online and becoming financially free, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos where I show you how to make a little extra cash for your pocket. I'm Mr. MT and I'm out.